Borno State Government has pledged robust and unwavering support to security agencies in their efforts to eradicate insecurity in Nigeria. Borno State Commissioner for Information and Internal Security, Professor Usman Tar, while speaking at a meeting in Abuja, expressed confidence that insurgency in Nigeria is approaching its end. Brigadier General Abubakar Saad representing commissioners for security from the northwest and frontline states reassured nigerians that borno state is currently addressing a small number of hardcore insurgents who are not yet to surrender our correspondent funilola ademi completes the report this meeting put together by the borno state government and international alert nigeria is focused on addressing patterns of violence, injustice, and criminality in Nigeria. Country Director International Alert Nigeria, Dr. Paul, called on Nigerians to work towards having a country free of injustice and violence. When Harriet says there was a country, uh, I think she's referring to some of the difficulties that we face across the country, even with moving from one point to the other. But there is still a country. As long as we all sitting in the room, remain committed, get to learn from each other, develop frameworks that enable us to work together, there will still very much be the country that we have all known several years ago. The state government is optimistic that an end to insurgency is in sight as the pledge to the support for the nation's security agencies. At the same time, the Borno State Government has also invested heavily in the second leg, which is the non-kinetic approach. In this regard, it is worthy of mention that the implementation of a platform called the Borno Model for Peace, Reconciliation and Development has yielded tremendous result. Stakeholders united on the need to end insurgency as the preferred solutions. When you apply pressure on terrorists or, or on bandits, wherever there's less pressure, that's where they move to. And that's why uh, up to then, there wasn't any particular success in fighting banditry and terrorism in the north because once a particular state applies pressure, they just diffuse and move across uh, state boundaries to, uh, to the next state and then come back once things uh, um, have uh, cooled down. You need go good governance. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Without good governance, these problems will remain with us. We need conflict prevention mechanisms, early warning systems and mediation mechanisms, disarmament, demobilization, reintegration, as Professor Tar said this morning, security sector reforms. The issue of lack of social cohesion in conflict affected communities, we always tend to rely heavily on traditional rulers and religious leaders to build community co cohesion. And so you attend a typical church service or a Muslim, um, a, an Islam service, sorry if I didn't say it properly, and then they always talk about community building and that is good, but we cannot leave social cohesion or national unity at the um, local peace building level alone. With participants joined from various parts of the country, including diplomatic missions, the need to fashion new ways of combating insurgency dominates discussions. From Lola Adeyemi, ADBN News.